Hi, I'm Carly Solander of Flower LA, and I'm going to show you how to make a two-tiered flower arrangement. To make a two-tiered arrangement, you're going to want to start with one glass vase. I chose a cylinder. It's the easiest one to work with. So I'm going to put some curly willow inside the bottom. This is year-round. You can get it pretty much anywhere, any florist or wholesaler, or, um, craft store, any store will really have it. So you can kind of wrap it around and insert it. You can also use flowers like orchids or calla lilies, anything you want. But for something really basic, we'll add some curly willow. OK. The next part is making the top tier. So take a plastic dish. This is about a six inch dish that will go right on top of the vase. You're going to take a piece of soaked floral foam. I cut this in half, and then you're going to want to measure it so it fits snugly inside. Take a piece of floral tape and wrap it around the dish to secure the foam. This is an optional step. You don't have to do it, but if you're worried about it, Tipping over, this is a good way to prevent that. OK, so we have the foam in the dish. First, you're going to want to start with the base. So whatever your fullest flower is, hydrangea is really good for this because it yields a lot. So you, can, you don't have to use as many stems. Cut it pretty short. You're only going to need an inch or so and insert it. can break apart a hydrangea head, it will make more. Once you've added the hydrangea or whatever greens you're using around, place some on top. The most important part is covering the foam. You don't want people to see that. And then with the accent flower, simply add it in. So for roses, cut it short, stick it in between. Create a pattern. Depending on how big you want to make this, you're probably going to need about 16 to two dozen roses to make something really full. Or you, if you're looking for something a little bit on the lighter side, you can use six to 12. Okay. I'm using some curly willow because I used it on the inside of the vase. So if you are using a different kind of flower, you can use it also on the top tier just for consistency. So you can put it in just for a little accent and then cut it after. So if you want a wild look, you can just kind of have it go like that. So once it's to your liking, lift it up, place it on top. And now you're going to fill in any holes you see. So take a look. And if you can see some foam, that's when you can add extra flowers. I'll place a rose inside. And just keep it steady with your other hand. I'm Carly Cylinder, and that's how you make an awesome two-tiered flower arrangement.